Welcome to another episode of Project 50. Today is just a day in the life of a of a vlogging YouTuber. Because as you may know, I am a YouTuber and I vlog. Oh man. Health as well, so starting off the morning we gotta, gotta get some vitamins in. By the way, side note, did you already like this video yet? Brody, did you like the video? Seems like you liked the video. Did you like the video? Yeah. Oh, you did. You, he nodded. He nodded. You liked the video. Appreciate it, Brody. Preface. Yes, I upload every day, but this is pretty much still like my part-time gig. I don't even earn any money from these videos. So along with the, all the YouTube stuff that I do, I, I work here. I work with dogs. Helps me a lot physically, mentally. So yeah, believe it or not, YouTube is not the only thing that I do. And I swear, if there is any trolls that dislike that video, I swear to God, I'm gonna don't dislike yet, yeah, cause I'm gonna wait until another video to like make like a dislike this video or whatever. I'll do that. I know you guys can't see it, but if you have the extension, you could definitely see it. I'll wait until another time to do the dislike. So cooperate with this one. So you know, the cool thing about this whole YouTube stuff is that I'm actually getting recommended to like everyone now. Like I'm actually my videos are actually getting recommended, even with the videos that don't have that many. Videos like the like the dreaming about being a youtuber one funny thing is is that i was looking through the comments and i got this recommendation from this guy named dr duke got this on my recommended watch it all for attention i think when it comes down to content ideas some of the best advice i can give is look at what the biggest people are doing in your niche and replicate it and add some value of your own then with consistency you will be able to pave your own path bro <laughs> he's got 200k subs what so on the off chance that you are watching this dr duke i appreciate the advice that's literally what i'm doing right now i'm just kind of like i'm taking ideas from the people because i really don't know my niche like I'm, I'm just a vlogger the whole idea right now is pretty much just to kind of take ideas from like other people that are like taking off and stuff and just kind of putting my my stamp on it like i feel like i have a different kind of editing style different kind of personality than everyone else and that's that's kind of the whole goal that i'm doing so i'm glad that that's your advice and i'm glad that's kind of what i'm doing with the help of one of ten it's making it a lot easier because i'm taking ideas from like the ones that are going viral i'm taking ideas because i don't have any video ideas and i'm kind of cooking up some ideas on my own so thank you for the advice appreciate it you better sub though do what you say so anyone that's asking what a life of a YouTuber feels like and what it's like to just make content and everything, especially to those YouTubers that upload all the time, like I do, like I upload every single day. Check out my other video. <laughs> everything that goes on in your mind, it's all YouTube. It doesn't matter what kind of genre you're in, you're either in the vlog scene, the gaming scene, education scene, whatever. It doesn't matter, all you're thinking about is YouTube and what kind of YouTube video ideas that you wanna do. Because you know, with the landscape of YouTube, people are trying to like one-up each other and stuff. Pretty much everything's been done on YouTube. It's rare to find like a YouTube video idea that hasn't been done at all. With like art, with music, whatever. YouTubing's kind of the same thing. A lot of the videos that we have today are like an interpret, interpret, inter, bro, bro, I can't speak. The mind of a YouTuber is pretty much just thinking of everything that could potentially be a YouTube video idea. Like I look at this bottle of Prime and I think, ooh, I can make a video out of that. What do you know? Your boy did. If you go on my channel, I made a video about reviewing Prime and everything. So go ahead and check that out. The life of a YouTuber is not just about YouTube, even though, yes, I just mentioned that all I think about is YouTube. To me, at least, not everything I do is YouTube. A lot of it is also some other stuff, like what I'm doing right now. I am not gonna mention what I'm gonna be doing right now because um, it'll be another video in itself. To give you a clue, I'm gonna inquire for something. That could be a lot of things, actually. So you'll just have to find out soon, man. I have to go to this place to inquire how much this thing is gonna cost. So I just got done inquiring. I actually had to go to a different one because the one that I did it last time with, that's a hint. He, he's closed right now for some reason, even though it says it closes at eight. But they said the certain price and I thought, okay, interesting. I'll go to my normal guy and whenever I get a hold of him, I'll inquire and then see like the price difference and that kind of stuff. And this is a little expensive just to let you know. That's another hint. I just gotta be careful with pricing because obviously I, I got, I, I'm moving out soon. So I definitely have to make sure that I'm saving enough with Uber Eats, all that kind of stuff. So. Okay, so they are closed. Oh, that's not bad. Because the funny thing is with the guy that I know and the guy that I've done this thing with, that sounds so... All right, let's just say the person that I bought this first thing from is um, 
That even sounds worse, bro. Fuck. He seemed to have a pretty good price, and I think I might trust him a little more. I want to make sure I get his input on it first before I do anything, just uh, just in case I'm getting robbed off the money. What I like to do, right, is I like to just make sure I record everything. When I say everything, literally everything, I try to record as much as I can. Because if I didn't do that, let's say the video's too short or whatever, then I'm like, SOL. I don't have any film for you guys, and I know you guys won't like that because it'll be too short. So yeah, I make sure to record everything so I have a lot to play with, and then and I'll kind of just trim it down to the most exciting parts of the day and the most like important parts that I want to put in the video. And with the type of videos that I do, because you know, there's different types of videos on YouTube, editing is actually the shortest part of the, the process. A lot of it is just recording. Because with the daily vlogs, I kind of already have like a structure in my head of what I want to make this video to be. I already think of the intro. I already think of like what I want to talk about. I already think of all that. And then like basically editing is just kind of a way to like, you know, bring that to life. For the last couple of months now, or I'd say about a month, month and a half, almost two months. I don't know the exact amount, but I, however long I've been doing Project 54, I just been the grind for a while. It's just, well, let's say on a boxing day, I get up, either go to work or not, and then record a bunch of videos for you guys, or record a bunch of clips for the vlog, and then go to the gym, edit, and I'll just talk about that later when I get home. But that's just been what my life's been about for the past, like, month and a half, and Honestly, it's been great. I'd say my life's been like 40% really busy with without the YouTube stuff. And then with the YouTube stuff, it's just been 80%. I still have time to do like the stuff that I want to do, like the, the quote unquote fun stuff. But like, it's just been nonstop grind. To be honest, I mean, it's not like the hardest to manage. I feel like I have this part of my year kind of organized already because for the most part, I'm not scheduled in the mornings. You know, I get time to sleep. I get time to, you know, do my job. I get time to go to the gym, all that kind of stuff. It's just been organized chaos. There we go. Thinking of ideas, you know, making videos. Of course, taking care of my mental health, but that kind of goes along with like the physical health because doing all this physical stuff that I want to do has been helping me like mentally and stuff. It's really good. I think that's one of the reasons why I haven't been like burnt out off of YouTube yet. I hope I don't jinx myself, but um, so far I have not felt the burnout after four, almost 40 videos that I've been doing this, have not felt the burnout. And I think one of the big contributing factors to this is that I've been doing not just YouTube, but I've also been doing, you know, like the other other stuff the other physical stuff whereas if it was like a different youtuber let's say i don't know pewdiepie for example because he has experienced burnout before and i'm assuming he doesn't just sit at the computer all day but like and there may have been a point in his life where that's literally all he was doing just recording 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 especially like in the beginning of his career where he was doing the editing he was doing the recording he probably didn't have a lot of time to you know take care of his physical health all that kind of stuff not throwing pewdiepie under the shade but i'm just kind of using him as an example for burnout you know that that's a real thing on YouTube, man. And then the people who don't do YouTube, looking at it from the outside, would probably be like, oh, bro, you, all you do is, like, record videos and upload it. Like, it takes a mental toll on you because, as I mentioned, thinking of the ideas you know making the ideas recording editing uploading thumbnails blah 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 you know that gets tiring it's like a nine to five job and that's why i'm so blessed i think because i'm in this position where i can make videos every single day for you guys and entertain you guys but also keep my mental health and keep my physical health good to the point where you know i have enough fuel to not burn out oh i used to say i fall into As if we're all just how she imagined Cause we're in love with just annoying Cause I always imagine Tell me if I'm wrong, this song feels like you're in a shopping mall She took my heart, filled it with nothing but pain Pretty baby, ooh Dinner time. Some hot dogs with some chili. Of course, got the muscle milk, and of course, pop in some creatine. So if you're curious as to what uh, what I eat and my supplements or whatever, creatine, of course. And I also do like a couple pills, vitamins, fish oil, zinc, and MD3. As I mentioned earlier, this is the stage where I'm pretty much done with the recording. Like at this point, like there really is nothing else for me to do. I would take you guys through my nighttime routine, but you guys can check that video out. If you just scroll far enough, you'll find it. Um, so eat. 
shower, edit, upload, make thumbnail, whatever. So that's gonna be the plan. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you guys did, smash that like button. Either way, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.